you know, I was thinking, I was, went to see it with my my very old friend Emma yesterday, that movie, and it was like incredible dose of nostalgia, even though we weren't in New York at that time, but it's like, you know, I'm sure if you're like a, an old punk from like the six, late 60s or 70s in New York, watching that film would give you nostalgia, but for us, like, being around 2004, five, six, going out, it's like that feeling of just like, it's a mess, but it's our mess. And it's just like, <laughs> no one really cared so much about what was happening. You just like went and watched a band, had fun. And then like, if you got inspired enough, you started a band and you pushed it enough. And like, there wasn't all this like Spotify numbers and algorithms. It was just like, are you on MySpace? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your top friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Post a bulletin now and again, some cryptic bulletin. Yeah, some cryptic bulletin. But like, you'd all just like, you know, in a way, MySpace was like a beeper, like a pager, like in mm. the 80s, just like, we're going to be here. Okay, cool. We'll meet there. Like, sometimes <laughs> you'd like leave your phone at home. It's just like, whatever. Didn't you see it as like a red flag for like the music industry? In what respect? In the respect that every that shows all the bands there when they're like mates and they're young and they're having a good time. And then there's that point in the film where like the girl from Oldie Peaches says that the last time I saw Julian Casablancas was like at one of their last, at a really big stroke show and Courtney Love was there. And she said like, come with us, be famous with us. And Julian Casablancas was like, I want to stay here. And that was the last time she saw him and they were like best friends. And then like, everything kind of went wrong. Like Albert Hammond Jr. had the whole like George Harrison thing of like wanting to play, wanting to do his songs and everyone was like, no, it's not about that. And like the moment that money and a, like a business vision, like this works, so don't go out of this. And if you do, you'll fail and we'll take everything or we'll take your house. It's like kind of sucks the soul of the creativity out of it. Mm. And also like all the friendships kind of like dissolved after that. It's yeah, like, yeah. It kind of, I don't know, it made me feel really like, it was kind of just like sad, I guess. Cause it, what you mean, yeah. Yeah, because it was like so exciting at first. But then it's also like, that's what everything is. Everything comes in cycles and things, everything that comes up must come down. But it's like, these were guys that like, just loved hanging out together and making music. And like the same thing with the with Karen O and yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it was like they have to sort of prove themselves by like walking through this fire. And like the longest you can last without saying, shit, guys, we're in a fire. Like the more like the industry will like pat you on the head. And I just felt like, you know, the moldy peaches are playing this year as well. And they didn't have to go through all that shit. Like, I wonder what their experiences are. And it's interesting how they mentioned the White Stripes a lot in that film, but they never got interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I think, like, the reason I... The, the thing that I've seen with doing music is, like, of course, you have all those dreams of getting that when you're younger. But in a way, I'm, like, so into the direction that, I've gone in where I can just like make what I want to make and put it out in the world. And if people like it, great. And if not, then I'll just make something else. But like, mm. I never put something out that I don't like, or just cause like the thing before did well. So I'll do that again, you know? Yeah. I know you mean like, I thought, I thought one of the most interesting bits of the film was the stroke going into the second album. Like yeah, just how much it affected like, Julian Casablanca, it was wild. Like, it's like the turmoil he was putting himself through. Yeah. I mean, it was beautiful when he was like, I just realized that everyone wants to be creative and I should like give them that. And it's like, if you wrote an album by yourself and it's this, it's, is this it? It's like, that's fucking enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, but not for the industry and not mm. for those MTV pressures of the noughties. And yeah, I think so nowadays it's sort of translated into number pressures, which is a lot less like fabulous looking, you know? It's just like mm. numbers on a screen rather than falling asleep in a bed live on MTV with Courtney Love chatting shit with Ryan Adams. 
<laughs> yeah, I think there's one quote from Julian. He's like, the interview is like, like, why are you being so hard on yourself? He's just like, I just don't want to let people down. And I guess when you're writing every bit of every song, it must be fucking mad with that, with that kind of expectation. I mean, James Murphy is a really good example of that. Mm. Like, Julian Casablancas was like this guy, but behind that, he's a James Murphy. He's a perfectionist. He wants everything to be perfect. He doesn't like sending emails. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we actually, Turbo Quest actually played a show with um, LCD Sound System. We supported them in um, Sao Paulo. Oh, wow. And it was like playing in South America is like the, the greatest pleasure a band can have because no one knew us. Well, I felt like no one knew us here, really. But then you go there and you play to like thousands of people and the whole front row is like singing your songs because they just like, that's the beauty of the internet, you know, you just Google it and listen to the song. And um, they were amazing. Like I remember just watching their sound check and being like, their sound check sounds like better than the record. And then the show was incredible. I'd never seen them before. I never really got into them that much. Um, I'd obviously heard like the singles and stuff, but um I got into them quite a lot after that. It's like very like white album, Beatlesy, a lot of their stuff, which I love. But then like James Murphy DJed after the show. And um it was one of the best DJ sets I've ever seen. Like he knows his shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quality. Yeah, there's a bit in the film one where he was like, there's a point where people were just downloading all these songs, whereas he'd had to like go out and search for them for years. Kind I've of thing. wasted the last 30 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny. <laughs> quite funny. And then like the whole William Orbit bit was genius. And like just the way that the, the Rapture's first record was with those guys. And it's like they literally made them record live. And you're like, yeah, we're finally doing it. And he's like, then we took all their took all of their part and put it back together again. <laughs> it's like how, like, oh, it made me feel like nauseous and anxious that bit for them. But like, I mean, the album's amazing. But you know, they should have told, been told to like, you know, go on holiday while we do this. Like, don't sit behind us, like <laughs> breathing on us. Yeah, um, the relationship between James Murphy and Luke and the Rapture sounds pretty fascinating. Just in yeah. like. How, they, how much you'd push him kind of thing, yeah. I mean, that's the job of a producer in a lot of ways. You know, back to the George Martin thing. List, like, just listen to the first Beatles recordings compared to, like, you know, Abbey Road. It's, like, the ultimate push. And, you know, just being able to manoeuvre all those characters and to make people, like, happy enough to carry on to turn up the next day, you know. It's mm -hmm. like, it's kind of an amazing job, but you are like a director, you're a puppet master. But then the puppet master that's going to bring in results, it's going to make the band think, fuck, this is like worth it. 